A Caribbean afternoon it certainly isn't, but there is a West Indian flavour in the build-up to today's game. Wrexham without Trinidadian centre-half Dennis Lawrence, who's suspended along with skipper Darren Ferguson. Sean Pedgick comes into the back four, but there's no room for Paul Barrett, as manager Dennis Smith shakes things up after the two away defeats. Steve Thomas is dropped to the bench. Matty Crowell, the Swansea boy signed from Southampton, makes just his second start, and Hector Sam is recalled up front. The third Trinidadian, Carlos Edwards, has been getting rave reviews for his wing-back play. He scored two in all three games Wrexham have played against Rushton, two victories and a draw. The visitors are missing Jamaican international striker on Andy Lowe, their top scorer with injury, and fellow reggae boy Paul Hall is dropped to sub. Rodney Jack from St Vincent and the Grenadines will share the striking duties with the vastly experienced Paul Kitson, who's totaled more than 100 career goals. And in charge this afternoon, Eddie Evans from Manchester. So it's Wrexham then who get this game underway. No exaggeration to say this is a really big game for them after the calamitous happenings of midweek, particularly conceding six goals against Bournemouth. Something you don't expect any Dennis Smith side to do. Rushton, up and down season, have lost the last four away games. Immediately in with a chance though, and that was a very weak effort by Paul Kitson. What a great chance then. Premiership footballer Paul Kitson getting in plenty of space too should have done better in fact should have scored Roberts just gets a toe into it Brian Carey himself starts a two match suspension before long 4-10 bookings and again it's Rushton in the yellow who press forward creating all sorts of problems for Wrexham early on this must be Kitson now surely Two guilted chances then in the opening seconds for Paul Kitson. And he's failed miserably with the both. But the Wrexham defence in a dreadful mess. Andy Dibble had come out there for it. Just getting back into his goal as the ball went safely past the post. First corner of the game then goes to Rushton. It'll be an in-swinger. And marked! What a calamitous start for Wrexham. They could have been three down already. The marking here, absolutely Paul. The free header from Richie Hanlon. And Dennis Smith, I'm sure, just cannot believe it. He was an angry man on the way back from Bournemouth. He is still angry. Bignett looking to cross towards the far post. It's a good ball another chance again then for Rushton and Andy Double with huge problems under huge pressure somehow or other that ball managed to get across could have been an effort on goal for Underwood well, Wrexham will be counting their blessings they didn't go a goal down in those opening exchanges now at last they're managing to create something well in, now then did the keeper go over the line Well, Ashton, certainly his body went over, and it looks as if he managed to keep the ball out. Hanging sort of cross by Llewellyn. Now, the feet were well in there. Oh, that was close. Roberts gives it to Llewellyn. So important that Wrexham get some passing movements together. Jim Whitley, the anchor man. Roberts stayed up from the back, does well. Good skills for a defender. Still going in the box, forcing Leo Roger to clear that ball away. Good enterprising play then by Steve Roberts. Three men there in the end. Leo Roger happy to scramble it away. Sean Pedgick, oh, very narrow really. There's a little challenge channel there for Edwards. Good effort, good goal. Oh, 1 0 Wrexham, and it's Carlos Edwards again. This is quite amazing. That's his fourth goal in as many games against Rushton and Diamonds. He really does love playing against them. This time, lovely bit of trickery. And onto the left foot for once. And the keeper, Jimmy Ashton, given no chance at all with that one. 
fourth goal of the season and his first for 19 from Carlos Edwards what a way to end the drought Kerry with a header man coming back from an offside position play allowed to continue here he is Kitson getting back in the move then Rushton with the chance to look to develop something from here back to Underwood good ball in towards the penalty area must be a goal and it's in well that's just what they deserved because they've been creating some pressure Rodney Jack on the far side but that was a beautifully hit cross by Underwood I think it was the skipper from left back hitting the ball into the space asking the man to get up to it and Rodney Jack was in there for his 13th goal of the season bringing him nearer again to the total of an Andy Lowe the top scorer but it was the quality of the cross that made it Jack stretching and beat the keeper well Ray leaves it for Gary Mills that's an intelligent ball another chance then for Jack good goalkeeping by Andrew Dibble Andy Dibble such a big powerful man six foot three and 15 stone of him Brian Carey has come up from the back he's gone to the far side headed clear Carlos Edwards going battling against Enderwood for it nice turn chance to measure the cross Carey well Roberts up from the back and, uh, without the composure of the striker to finish off that move it's a good cross came in from Carlos Edwards one well in the air there but uh, Roberts well the ball just wouldn't come down for him with it Roberts gets it across towards Sam that's down for Armstrong chance to turn his man does well good save another chance little Dinkin must be a goal well, how on earth did Chris Llewellyn manage to find the bar off the net? At last, the second half comes to life. First of all, it was Chris Armstrong, a lovely turn here on Leo Roger. Good save by keeper Ashdown. Lovely little dink in there. Llewellyn, well, really should have scored. After the week they've had, I think Rushton, the away team, would be rather happier with the points challenged by Duffy it was a bit heavy to say the least the play allowed to continue Hedgick allowed to go on well it was the defender at the end of the day who came nearest for Wrexham there Sean Pedgick has never scored a senior goal in his career that's as near as he's ever got this could be their last chance it's a poor cross into the area to Ellen Carey how on earth didn't that one go in? Brian Carey, who to me has been Wrexham's man of the match today. Really battling performance by the acting skipper, particularly in defence. And Mr. Welling drove that one in. The ricochet from Carey and then the keeper. 